Hi everyone, Lady Amalthea here. I know it's been a while, um, it's been a lot going on. Um, in sad news, my dog has passed on um, and he's home now. So it's been a very tough time. Um, on Sunday, however, I went to a meet and greet at a new uh, witchcraft store in the area called Our Mystical Life. And because I like supporting businesses, local businesses, whenever possible, I picked up a deck that I've seen before online and considered buying. Is that focusing? The Yggdrasil Norse Divination Cards by, now let's see if I can say this correctly, Hawker Holderson and G. Hawk's daughter. Hmm. Um, so... It's uh, pretty sure that, yep, it's a Llewellyn deck. Um, it's got one of those magnetic doobies. It's all black and white and it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is actually the first time I'm actually opening it. I took the plastic off before I started so I didn't have to crinkle around. Um, it's got a massive book, absolutely huge. It's all in black and white with black, gorgeous, gorgeous drawings. It's got a yeah, huge guidebook. Um, okay, so the author um, and his daughter made this deck together, which is quite lovely. Uh, the daughter... The daughter did the writing and the father did the drawing. So that's quite beautiful. Um, and they are Icelandic, so very cool. Um, was it last year? I think it was last year I listened to um, a fabulous audiobook called Saga Land, which was about the Icelandic sagas, the, the poetic Edda, and um, just absolutely loved it and have been drawn more and more towards... Um, the Norse pantheon and the Norse magic and the Aesir and the Eddas and so I thought what better way to draw dive more in than than a book and a gorgeous set of cards up ah, now the cards are uh, stuck <laughs> um, it's one of these cardboardy kind of things with the ribbon and I will just need my scissors again because the cards are sealed in plastic. Um, so there's, uh, I believe it's 81, 81 cards, it said somewhere in the box. There's 81 card divination deck, so crikey, that is a lot of cards. But, um, you know, there's a lot in the editors. Um, if you're not familiar with the poetic editors, um, they're basically the stories of the um, Scandinavian peoples and their gods and their mythologies and their folklore and um, yeah it's pretty cool they're nice kind of glossy cards decent size pretty pretty nice and big beautiful illustration there we go that's focusing in absolutely gorgeous um, so I'm not going to like show you every single card because like I said it's an 81 card deck um, but just kind of gives you an idea of of course we start with Odin because where else would you start but with the Allfather um, so it looks like the cards have an illustration and the name of the um, the figure and then some keywords so for Odin we have Omnisite, Wisdom, Poetry and Language um, and then yeah it just keeps keeps going um, so I'd be curious to see um, how many of these are gods maybe we've got some other kind of figures as well um, but yeah I would need to read through the, the book to kind of yeah, for example, there's there's one card called Emnir, which is the spirit of fire. The Emnir is the personification of fire. 
uh, is one of the sons of Muspel, whose flames engulf the world at Ragnarok. So there you go. So yeah, it's not just gods. Uh, and we have Ikenskold, um, who was a dwarf who carries an oak shield for protection. So I think there's quite a lot in here. Um, not just not just gods. Oh, and there's um, gods, uh, giants of uh, is it Jotunheimer? I'm. I must admit, um, my Scandinavian pronunciation is is not um, perfect uh, by any means. So um, but yeah, I just thought I, I wanted to support a business. I'm sure I paid a little bit more than I would have if I had bought it online. But um, you want to support new local businesses, particularly witchcraft businesses in the area. Um, so I think this will be a nice one to kind of study and work with and then if I find the, the characters interesting um, perhaps learn more about them because I, I would love to read all the poetic edders not just um, Schnorri Stirlinson's ones which I figured uh, this card keeps coming up for me Sigun what does that say? Loyalty oh, that's interesting she's an absolutely beautiful figure um, yeah so I just thought I'd, I'd quickly come on um, and have a look quick quick look at this so it's a uh, 200 and something 208 page guidebook um, it seems to mostly there seem to be like two pages per card um, and there's a introduction sen section um, and tells you a bit about the cards and the placements Oh, and the, the Nine Realms. It talks about the Nine Realms. Um, and um, of Asgard, Hel, Alfheimer, or Svartal, Fahimor, Midgard, Niflheimer, Jotunheimer, Fagenheimer and Muspelheimer. Jeez, some of those are a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> it doesn't help that some of the characters are not English characters that I am hugely familiar with, but yeah, this should be a fun one to kind of um, have a play around with. Um, other decks I have gotten recently include the absolutely gorgeous, which I will do a walkthrough, like a complete walkthrough of, because it's gorgeous, the Fyodor Pavlov Tarot, which um, I backed on Kickstarter and arrived um, maybe about a month or so ago um, and I also recently was given a copy of the beautiful Prisma Visions tarot by my beautiful friend Rowan um, and we, we got together and opened up our decks and had a look through them and laid them all out in the beautiful picture that go together so yeah I thought I'd just um, make a very kind of short kind of video um, yeah losing Gimli's been really hard <laughs> but I'm kind of piecing myself back together as you can imagine it's, it's really weird him not being around um, but yeah I'm just going to be wearing his ashes like permanently um, and I've got, also got them in a crystal which um, sits next to my computer as well as a box and his paw print and the clippings and all that kind of stuff as well because you know um, touchstones are pretty important for this particular witch uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Sorry it's been so long, but you know, there's been a few things happening uh, for good and for ill. Um, but um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.